There are 33 bones called vertebrae that protect the spinal cord. These bones are divided into four groups, going from top to bottom, C, T, L, and S. C stands for cervical, or neck. There are seven bones in the neck, C1 at the base of the skull, through to C7 at the bottom of the neck. T stands for thoracic, or chest. There are 12 bones in the back, located behind the rib cage. T1 at the top of the back, through to T12 at the bottom. L stands for lumbar, located in the lower back. There are five bones in this region. S stands for sacrum, which is the bone at the base of the spine. Technically, this contains five vertebrae, but they are fused into a single bone. Finally, there are four more bones fused together to make the coccyx, or tailbone. The nerves that connect the brain to the rest of the body travel down the spinal cord and exit between the vertebrae. Nerves that go to the upper body leave the upper portion of the spinal cord, their cervical and thoracic segments. Nerves that go to the lower body exit lower down. When you experience a spinal cord injury, the nerves at the level of injury and below may stop sending messages properly. The parts of your body controlled by those nerves may be affected by the injury. An injury to the neck area, for example, at the C6 level can result in impairment to the arms, hands, trunk, and legs, and can affect a person's breathing muscles. A lower injury to the back, for example, at the T10 level can result in impairment mainly in the legs with no impact on breathing.